Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let's take a look at 10 more interesting new features coming to macOS Ventura. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than 1,000 supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you could read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. Now in a previous video I showed you 10 really interesting things coming to macOS Ventura. Here are 10 more. First let's start in the Messages app. You're going to be able to delete messages just like before. I'm going to use Control click here and then Delete. What's different is that now you'll be able to go to View Recently Deleted and see Recently Deleted Messages here and recover them. You'll also be able to select a conversation and mark it as unread. Now in that previous video I told you about the new app we're getting, the Clock app, but also we're getting the Weather app. And it's basically the exact same app that you have on the iPad. So it gives you a nice big screen view of all sorts of different weather data. You can add different cities here or just search for one and get the weather data for it right now. You could go and look at maps and get all sorts of weather information just like you can on the iPhone and iPad. Now over in Safari there is a new feature for Tab Groups. If you go to the Start page in addition to having regular favorites you can now have favorites for a Tab Group. So you go into the Settings here for the Start page and there's one called Tab Group Favorites. So this will be different depending upon which Tab Group you're in. And you could see these here in Bookmarks. Under Favorites you could see Tab Group Favorites and for each Tab Group you could also go to Edit Bookmarks and you can see all of the favorites for each Tab Group here as well. Now there are two ways to do dictation in Mac OS. The simple way to do it is just to use the basic dictation which you turn on by going into System Settings and then going to Keyboard and then here you can turn on Dictation right there and you use it with the shortcut set here. So press Control key twice in my case. But you can do others as well. So it works the same as before. But now if you notice it will figure out punctuation. This is a test. This is another sentence. In addition this type of dictation now recognizes emoji. All you need to do is speak the name of the emoji character that you want and then the word emoji afterwards. Pizza emoji. Smiley face emoji. Mind blown emoji. A new trick in the Photos app is duplicates here on the left. If you select that it will show you duplicate photos. Now be warned it's not just looking for photos that are exactly the same but ones that are extremely similar. Like if you take several photos very quickly of a still object each one's its own separate photo but duplicates will actually show them here. And if you flip between them you could see that there's a slight difference between each one. So you don't want to just use this and willy nilly delete a bunch of photos. You want to use it and then look carefully at all the photos to make sure you keep the right one. The Stocks app allows you now to have multiple Stocks lists. So you've got my symbols here but you can create a new watch list and call it whatever you want. So you could have one that maybe reflects your retirement account, one that reflects maybe stocks that you might be interested in and things like that. Or you can just use this as a way to track news for companies you're interested in. An interesting new feature in System Settings is the ability to get Wi-Fi passwords out of System Settings. So if you go in here and then you go to Wi-Fi and then scroll down to the bottom and click Advanced and you're going to see a list of all of the different Wi-Fi networks you've ever connected to. And you can select any one of those like that and copy the password from it. So in Mac OS Monterey we got live text. The ability to select and copy text in still images. Well, Now you can do it in videos. So here's a video. I just have it open in QuickTime Player. And I could select the text on any frame here. Copy it and then paste it into another app. You could even take actions on this text. So for instance here in this final frame of the video notice how there's a link and you can actually click here and open the link. In Maps as before you can search for directions. So let's start here and then do Directions and notice how we can create another stop right here. And notice here you can add another stop and you can rearrange the order of the stops and everything. You can go up to five different destinations in one route. 
Now I want to mention one last feature that's really important although you never see it working. It will be in the background and it's called Rapid Security Response. What it is is security updates will be automatic and not be tied to software updates. So if there's a security threat to Mac OS you can get an update without doing the whole major you know, dot one release or whatever it is of your Mac. It will just happen automatically and quietly in the background and protect you from any malware that may appear. Apple hasn't really needed this with Mac OS in the past. What they provided through software updates and updates to XProtect and such have been fine. But it's great that they're thinking ahead and putting even more security into Mac OS. Hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.